The new images of 3i Atlas seem to show the tail is back. What is the significance? What do you make of this? Well, actually, we don't just see a tail. In the latest images, we see uh, of all the seven jets coming from the uh, surface of, of the central object, uh, some of them towards the sun, some of them away from the sun. What surprises me is that they are tightly collimated. Uh, and that is surprising because the object is rotating. The last time we checked, it has a rotation period of only 16 hours. And uh, that, uh, the, the length of these jets is a million kilometers. You would expect that uh, the material making up these jets uh, had to go across that distance over a period of a month, uh, given the typical speed of outflows from comets. And uh, during a month, it would have been smeared by the rotation mm. of the object. So then the question is, what is going on? Across a million kilometers of space, the jets of 3i Atlas appear perfectly straight, a defiance of physics that has ignited one of the most charged debates in modern astronomy. The interstellar object, now retreating from the inner solar system, shows no sign of the rotational smearing that should twist or blur its plumes of dust and gas. According to Avi Loeb, this extraordinary behavior constitutes the twelfth anomaly of 3i Atlas. Well, I listed this morning 12 anomalies associated with the object, and anyone that wants to see them, they are on medium.com, the, the latest essay. And uh, I suggest that uh, whoever says this is a, a familiar comet uh, would write a, a paper explaining all of these anomalies. Yeah, Professor Loeb, them... we're almost out of time, but out of I was reading this article right before our show tonight. Of the 12 anomalies, which one stands out to you the most, is the most compelling, that this could be extraterrestrial in nature? Well, it's the fact that it's lined up with uh, the plane of the planets from the beginning. And it's also a very big object, much more than we expected, because the previous ones were a million times less massive. You know, both of these are fundamentally difficult uh, to explain out. So I'm saying let's wait and check what this object is in the coming weeks rather than uh, give the verdict already now. Within days, NASA's high-rise camera aboard the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter is expected to release its first high-resolution images of 3i Atlas, captured in early October when the comet passed just 29 million kilometers from Mars. These observations promise to sharpen humanity's view by nearly a factor of three compared with the Hubble data from July. From its side on vantage, high-rise may finally reveal whether the object's seemingly motionless jets are a mere projection effect or a genuine anomaly written across interstellar space. If the jets remain straight in these new frames, the implications could be profound. Such a result would challenge long-standing models of cometary activity, where sublimating ices vent through rotating surfaces to create spinning fans or corkscrew patterns. Instead, 3i Atlas appears to produce a fixed beam, a geometric impossibility under ordinary thermal physics. The high-rise data may therefore test the limits of what natural outgassing alone can explain. But the opposite outcome would be just as important. If the higher fidelity images show even slight curvature or variability in the jets, the mystery dissolves into conventional physics, projection, timing, and dust geometry. Either way, the release will mark a turning point, the moment when speculation about the straight lines of 3i Atlas becomes measurable reality. The twelfth anomaly takes its name from the claim that, unlike any cometary jets previously seen, those of 3i Atlas do not smear or fan out as the nucleus spins. Loeb and his collaborators estimate that the object completes a rotation roughly every 16 hours, which under normal circumstances would sweep any gas or dust plume into a wide spiral, the way a rotating sprinkler sprays water. Yet the Hubble imagery from July and ground-based follow-ups from August show a remarkable steadiness in the jet's direction, straight, sharp, and unwavering. If these streams of gas truly maintain alignment through multiple rotations, it implies either that the emission point lies perfectly on the rotational pole or that something else, something more exotic, is at work. This observation sits uneasily with everything known about comets. Typical comets spin irregularly, their jets modulated by temperature, local composition, and sunlight. Over time, the jets carve out distinct arcs or curves, sometimes forming beautiful spirals when viewed from the right angle. Even the slow rotators, like 2i Borisov, the only other interstellar comet observed in detail, showed visible evolution in jet direction. The physics behind it is simple. Sunlight heats a patch of ice, the gas expands and escapes. As the surface turns, the venting direction changes. 
but 3i Atlas, if Loeb's interpretation holds, breaks this rhythm. Its vents, or whatever mechanism drives the ejection, seem locked in space. There are, of course, less mysterious explanations. One possibility is that the main jet emerges from a region near the comet's rotational pole. If the pole happens to point roughly along our line of sight, the jet could appear fixed even as the nucleus spins beneath it. Another is that the observations captured only a short period of the object's rotation, giving the illusion of constancy. And since 3i Atlas was recorded from great distances, tens of millions of kilometers, even small variations might simply be below the resolution threshold. These scenarios do not rule out the anomaly, but anchor it in the realm of ordinary geometry and coincidence. Loeb, however, suggests that the combination of alignment, duration, and precision makes coincidence unlikely. The jet, he notes, extends for nearly a million kilometers without visible deviation, a feat requiring either continuous fine-tuning of its direction or an unusually stable emission process. In his essays, he presents this as a potential indicator of artificial origin, not proof but a hint that 3i Atlas may not be a mere chunk of ice and dust. This line of reasoning continues a theme stretching back to his analysis of Oumuamua in 2018, when he proposed that the first interstellar visitor might have been a defunct probe or light sail from another civilization. The high-rise data will be critical to testing those ideas. Taken during the object's close approach to Mars, the images should show the coma and jet structure from a different angle than Earth-based telescopes, effectively offering a side profile of the plume. Although the nucleus is likely too small to resolve directly, perhaps only a few hundred meters across, the brightness distribution of the central pixel can constrain its size. More importantly, the shape and direction of the surrounding dust stream will reveal whether the straight-line structure holds up under higher resolution. Loeb argues that even partial confirmation of this rigidity would demand a new model of jet dynamics. Loeb's catalog of anomalies surrounding 3i Atlas has grown into something resembling a cosmic detective file, a pattern of oddities that, when stacked together, challenge the odds of mere coincidence. The first clue was its trajectory, a retrograde orbit that still manages to trace the ecliptic plane within five degrees, a near impossible alignment for an object arriving from interstellar space. Then came the anti-tail, a luminous spray of material pointing toward the sun rather than away from it. To comet specialists, this inversion of geometry bordered on heresy, suggesting that sunlight was not simply pushing material back, but perhaps illuminating an entirely different emission process. Chemical readings deepened the mystery. Spectroscopic studies found nickel without the expected companion of iron, an imbalance that made 3i Atlas stand apart from any comet or asteroid known. In the same spectra, the hydrogen-oxygen signature of water was barely visible, only a few percent of what should be present if ice sublimation drove its jets. A comet with almost no water, Loeb argued, was a paradox. What then powered its persistent activity across hundreds of millions of kilometers? The physics didn't add up, at least not comfortably. Adding a layer of cosmic intrigue, the object's inbound trajectory traced back to the same region of the sky as the famous WOW signal of 1977, a brief unexplained radio burst that has haunted SETI research for decades. Loeb does not claim a direct connection, but the coincidence reinforces his sense that 3i Atlas has a knack for showing up where improbabilities cluster. Each element, orbit, tail, chemistry, direction, might be dismissed individually as chance or error. But when combined, they form what he calls a stack of improbabilities, a pile of evidence that resists easy dismissal. For the broader scientific community, the response has been measured skepticism. 
planetary scientists emphasize that images alone, especially from limited vantage points, can be deceptive. Projection effects, time averaged exposures, and data compression can create the illusion of fixed lines or aligned tails. Others argue that small-scale irregularities on a spinning body can produce repeatable jet patterns if the outgassing follows structural seams. None of these require invoking non-natural causes. To them, the anomalies are a call for better data, not a paradigm shift. Still, even skeptics admit that 3i Atlas has proven more enigmatic than expected. Its brightness evolution, its composition, and its near encounters with multiple planets all make it an exceptional interstellar object. The anticipation surrounding the high-rise images reflects that uniqueness. For the first time, a spacecraft orbiting another planet observed a visitor from another star. That data set alone, regardless of Loeb's conclusions, will be scientifically historic. Behind the technical details lies a deeper human story, the way anomalies capture imagination. When a scientist like Loeb suggests that an object might be engineered, the public listens not only because of the claim's boldness, but because it touches a collective curiosity. What if the universe has other makers? Every confirmed anomaly brings that question closer. Every debunked one pushes it away, but leaves us more precise in our understanding. Whether 3i Atlas proves mundane or miraculous, it reminds us that discovery begins where expectation fails. In the coming days, when NASA releases the long-awaited high-rise frames, astronomers will scour them for the faint geometry of truth. Are the jets curved, kinked, or straight? Do they emerge from a single point or multiple vents? Is their brightness steady or flickering? These details will decide whether the twelfth anomaly survives scrutiny or dissolves into data noise. For Loeb, the answer will either reinforce his case that interstellar visitors may carry technological signatures, or mark the end of another speculative thread. Science advances through this tension, the interplay between conjecture and confirmation. Sometimes the data uphold the wild idea. More often, they temper it, forcing a return to physics and patience. But in both outcomes, the pursuit is what matters. The straight jets of 3i Atlas have already done their work. They have drawn the eyes of the world to an object hurtling back toward the stars, carrying with it questions too large for easy dismissal. When the images arrive, the first glance will tell part of the story. Perhaps the jet will waver, revealing itself as a trick of perspective. Or perhaps it will remain impossibly sharp, cutting through the void like a thread of light stitched across the dark. Either way, 3i Atlas has already traced a straight line through the imagination. A reminder that in science, as in exploration, the line between anomaly and revelation is measured not in certainty, but in curiosity.